Yorkshire Skittle on day one of Rose's match. This one needs little hype. The biggest rivalry in the LV County Championship, back in the spotlight and with a lot to play for. Top spot in group three up for grabs in the Roses clash. The hosts landed the first blow. Adam Lythe stopped in his tracks early in the day, his edge clung onto by Lamb off the bowling of Bailey. Frayne then followed, out for a duck, edging behind off Mahmood. And then with no change to the score, Yorkshire were three down, a moment of hesitation enough to give Davis the opportunity to run Brooke out. And another in the same over, Hill out court and the visitors in all kinds of trouble. Wood joined the attack and it took him just nine balls to find his first wicket, Bess out midway through his second over. Lamb then followed his catch up by removing Yorkshire's last standing top order batsman, Cola Cadmore out LBW for 10. There was a second for Wood. Thompson out caught at short leg thanks to a wicked bumper. Duke fired off some defiant boundaries in what remained before lunch to bring the 50 up. But Yorkshire headed into the break, thankful for the respite after a difficult morning. Yorkshire returned to the middle in stubborn mood and the Lancashire success dried up, at least for the moment. They found themselves in the 90s, the 8th wicket partnership now worth more than 50 and the young wicket keeper on the verge of a maiden first class 50. In the end, a single was sufficient, a memorable moment for the 19 year old, made all the more so by the missed opportunity at leg slip, a big sigh of relief let out after a narrow escape. And then the 100 was up, when at times it looked like they'd be skittled for under 50. Parkinson snuck one past Patterson's legs to bowl in for 27. Could Lancashire haul their rivals back in? It certainly looked like it. Duke out down the leg side off the bowling of Bailey, unable to get further than 52. Code and Olifia both helped Yorkshire reach 150 and added a bit of razzmatazz when Mahmood was sent flying over the boundary. That was a final defiant stroke. Olifia fell to Code soon after, Wells with springs in his heels to take the catch. Yorkshire all out for 159. Duke had been the linchpin for the lower order fight back and helped lead the recovery after Yorkshire were reduced to 40 for 7. He'd shown his colleagues how to approach the innings and they'd done well to get back into it. The Lancashire bowlers did their job and now it was the batsman's turn. Keaton Jennings and Alex Davis strode out for the home side and set about their work. Davis, as he so often is, was the aggressor in the partnership, making hay in the afternoon sun. When the score ticked past 50 for no loss, Jennings had been responsible for just seven of the runs, such was Davis' fluency. There was no surprise then when Davis brought up his half-century, the milestone coming from just 52 balls. But he couldn't last much longer, outstrangled down the leg side from the bowling of Dwayne Olifier. Yorkshire had needed a bit of luck, the opening partnership of 71 had almost halved the deficit. Jennings and Wells were solid in what remained, almost to 100 when the day was brought to an end. There was 95 on the board and just one wicket had been lost. Lancashire were in charge of the Roses match.